Uh, with regards to um, um, selecting a, um, a spouse, um, concerning that uh, one can only look at the spouse uh, once, please, can you quote any, um, um, any backup from the Hadith or the Quran, sir? And it, it really concerning that, uh, that one can only look at the proposed and spouse once. Jazakum Allah khairan, sir. Wa jazakum. Akhi, the default in Islam, the default, is that it is prohibited for you to look at other women, full stop. No legitimate reason, it's not permissible. So this is the default. I see someone walking across the street and I go, okay, okay, what are you doing? No, this is the first sight. I didn't blink. No, this is haram. It is not permissible for you to look and to check her out. She's not a book in a library. Secondly, there is an exception where there is a necessity. I'm a physician, a doctor, and I have a female patient. She has a problem that requires me to look at a specific area of her body. So, so she has pain in her pinky. I would say, okay, take off your clothes. Whoa, hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's a legitimacy. No, it's not. She has a problem with her pinky. Look at her pinky only. The rest of the arm should be covered, let alone the, her body. Ah, I didn't know that. So you can only look at what is required for you to look at times of necessity. Similarly, someone's proposing. The Prophet said, who's ever interested in a woman for marriage, he may look at her so that it would encourage him to marry her. Ah, this is an exception. So when I go and propose, I'm allowed to sit with this potential woman that I'm interested in marrying, and I'm allowed to look at her face, I check her out, see her height is okay, and, and the likes, and to see whether there's chemistry or not. I'm not buying a product. The reason is, the Prophet said in another hadith, when a man proposed, and he told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I propose to this woman. The Prophet said Alaihi Salatu Wasallam, did you look at her face? Did you look into her eyes? The man said, no. The Prophet said Alaihi Salatu Wasallam, go and check her out. Meaning, go and look in her face because the eyes of the Ansar has some deficiencies in them. Maybe they're cross-eyed or some, uh, something wrong in it. So, so that you wouldn't regret your decision after marriage when it's too late, go and check out how she looks. If you're happy and satisfied, go ahead with it. So this is the exception, not the norm. So you saw her, you sat with her, you spoke with her, and a couple of days later said, I'd like to do it again. Maybe this time, um, let me invite her to a candlelight dinner and maybe some violin music in the background. Hey, hey, what are you doing? This is dating. Said, yeah, but I'd like to look at it again. No, no, this is not fine. You looked at her, you saw what you are getting into, that's sufficient. Now you make a decision or move on.